Good morning. Um, we're going to start the next talk, and I'd like to introduce uh, Simona Costamagna. She's going to talk about CIRA, a framework to search and view complex data sets through OGC services. Okay. Thank you. And uh, hi, everyone. And I want, uh, for first thing, to um, thank uh, uh, very much to the organization of uh, GFOS, uh, FOS4G, sorry, <laughs> FOS4G in Bucharest, that was very, very good. And um, I'm a uh, business uh, analyst, expert in uh, GIS, and I work for uh, CSI. And uh, the acronym of uh, CSI is not like you are thinking now, uh, crime scene investigation, but <laughs> is Information System Consortium. But I want to joke with you with the, the crime scene investigation because I want that you feel me in my presentation that is organized in three parts. And uh, the first one is a sort of collection of clues of the crime that happened uh, uh, in uh, Region Piemont, and that is my region. And uh, this is the first part in which I will uh, talk to you about uh, our solution, the framework CIRA. The second part is the place where the crime occurred, then is the demo time. And uh, in final, we found together the solution <laughs> of the crime. It's only a joke to introduce uh, myself and uh, my solution, our solution. And so, what uh, is uh, CSI? is um, really two words. CSI supports uh, um, the public administration to implement service in all the sector, open government, uh, territory, uh, env environmental, management, smart mobility, energy, tourism, everything. And uh, we are many, many people that work there. We are more than 1,000. And um, was finding in uh, 1977 in the Piedmont region together the University of Turin and Polytechnics of Turin. Uh, now um, um, we have more than 100 uh, uh, stakeholders that participate to CSI, like you can see there. What is the <clears throat> our solution? Uh, so, uh, it's uh, many, many years that uh, in uh, Piedmont region we have uh, an environmental information system. And in these uh, years we deployed several, several uh, environmental uh, data collection tools for administrative procedures, cadastre, registry, monitoring uh, data and so on. But uh, we don't have uh, a um, modern solution to uh, search and view data altogether. We produce many data, but uh, we can't uh, um, have all together in one solution. So um, we built, with the, the help of uh, GeoSolution, this framework, CIRA, that aims to integrate the part of uh, geo and geo and alphanumeric uh, search and uh, also to view um, capabilities in a single tool altogether. Normally, uh, we have uh, always a specialized um, application or software or desktop tool to see geographical information. And other people that work on geospatial information are always experts. Um, our goal is to um, help people that isn't, uh, that hasn't a specific uh, um, uh, skill in geographical information to uh, enter uh, in, this, um, in this type of data. And uh, for this reason, we develop uh, the, the framework CIRA that uh, it for the first time used for our uh, decision support and system the environmental uh, knowledge system and uh, this is the home page of our solution but after that uh, in the time of no uh, <coughs> demo time i will show you and uh, how we build this we build this only with the standard ogc 
uh, Open Spatial Consortium Interoperability Service as required um, by the INSPIRE Directive. For metadata, uh, we use uh, Catalog Service Web for um, enter the data you know, on the map. We use, uh, naturally, Web Map Service. But what we do of new, um, <laughs> we, we, we try to do, is to use the protocol that is a web feature uh, as um, service uh, 2.0 complex type, a uh, complex feature, that is uh, the standard, one of the standard that um, uh, the, the Inspire Direct um, decide to use. And so, uh, this is the major uh, of the tree. I decide to use this image to uh, show you uh, and to explain you what is uh, different in the uh, VFS complex feature. Normally we use uh, WFS, uh, um, normally have a flat structure, one feature, one record. And uh, if, you have, if we have many information, we can combine them in a field, in one field altogether. But it's a flat uh, structure. So, um, uh, this is the major because uh, um, one service, like a tree, have uh, one trunk that uh, um, contains the main information. And after that, I have many branches, one for each specific um, uh, type of information that I need. For example, um, in data set of creation, because we work also in Croatia, like uh, I will say you before. Um, we, we have uh, an establishment uh, data set that have a plant name, address, and this is the first level, but uh, also we have uh, the, um, to describe the typology of this uh, establishment and uh, the information about uh, accident and so on. I will show you which are the benefits of a complex feature. We, mm, the first uh, one is that uh, we can define information model as an object-oriented structure. And uh, for this re reason, we use an application schema that we can decide to, to do by ourselves or to reuse an application schema uh, that exists. And the information um, is modeled not only a single table, like I said before, and uh, is a collection of a related object, and uh, permitting us to do rich expression of content, to have inside a rich expression of content. Uh, to example, um, Inspire Directive used uh, in uh, his uh, data specification on the land cover, this type of uh, service, and also uh, the geological data set uh, model use, uh, use a, a VFS structure. In this uh, image you can see that uh, the service establishment have inside one uh, nested level, it's about uh, the company, and uh, another one is about, for example, uh, dangerous substance. And uh, inside dangerous substance, we have a substance type, substance classification. There are all different information inside, and the attributes uh, that are inside each uh, single element is completely different. And so this is the organization, for example, of our data set uh, um, uh, about the service establishment. And beside the standard uh, GeoPortal functionalities, uh, the tool support user to search normally uh, through the um, to keywords and uh, through um, the data set that are uh, available in one of on more uh, data spatial infrastructure. This is really important for us because normally um, in uh, region Piedmont we have uh, the GeoPortal, Piedmont Geo GeoPortal, that contain also the data of, uh, um, of um, environmental agency, but it's not completely uh, useful to merge uh, the data between uh, VMS uh, that is published um, in, Geo um, in um, Piedmont region with the other one. In our solution, we merge really together the functionality of the different uh, uh, provider. 
this is the first part, and um, uh, we enable more than this because we can see in the image that for the normal uh, VMS we have uh, this uh, icon that uh, permit to enter the data on, on the map, to upload the data on the map, but we have uh, uh, other two functionality. One functionality is about the query builder and the other is a repo list. And uh, which is uh, the particularity that we um, predefine standard functional partners and we apply them to different entities, to different data sets. So uh, we reuse all uh, the same code to describe a new object. And what we do, we do search query, um, but particular query builder is. Uh, uh, quite uh, complex. We, we can manage uh, many, many criteria, group criteria. And uh, this is the wrapper list that is built um, like a flat structure, but for a single feature we can use in a detailed form that describe in a rich way all the data that are uh, in complex way. So we have uh, also a um, table uh, inside our detail form, for example. And this is the part in which we, we see the, the result of our, um, our search and directly through the uh, reporting view. Uh, I can click there and I pass on a map to see what I really found with my query builder. And so uh, it's a circle way to work. I can uh, reuse the part of the query builder or to, to see on click on the position on the map the feature list and to enter in the tail form, which are the, compo the components that we use in Frame of Sierra. The solution is completely open source. And uh, we use Pentao, Postgres for storage data. We use Humboldt Alignment Editor, ALE, to support the mapping through the data source and the schema, the application schema. We use a GeoServer uh, for uh, sharing geospatial data and uh, the part of GeoServer um, uh, app schema to publish the WFS um, 2.0. And uh, we use uh, the Map Store 2 framework, uh, WebGIS, uh, it's uh, developed by GeoSolution to provide uh, the user interface. This is the schema of uh, the architecture. It's, it's only a slide. You can uh, uh, look at this uh, after the presentation with all the licenses. Uh, we have also an important part for us that is the resource access manager because we need that uh, each profile can access only to a part of uh, the information because uh, uh, not all the information we have, uh, we manage in our system are for free access. And so uh, uh, each user is recognized from the application and uh, the layer is, is, um, is uh, in which you want to enter. Uh, it can, we can establish uh, which feature and which attribute of the feature the user can uh, have, uh, can read. So um, this is the reused that we do in uh, creation. We reuse uh, all the framework CIRA uh, solution and uh, we finish in March of uh, the last year. And uh, it's a good solution for us to reuse the framework. It's really, really fast to, to be reused. We produce data set uh, from the data source that they have there. Mm, the project, it's like you can uh, read about the safety in creation, in particular to the prevention and control of industrial accident. And uh, so we, uh, we reuse uh, the, their information and we produce uh, two uh, new um, WFS, uh, WFS 2.0. And uh, we can also um, uh, use the builder, the query builder, also alphanumeric and spatial, to search the data. 
and we reuse uh, the, the part of the result list, you, you can see it's the same that I have in Piedmont region, but the data is important in this, <laughs> in this part. And this is the other part about uh, the tail form. We, we made uh, two languages a version of, um, of our application, also in Croatian languages, that it's really difficult. Okay, and this is the end of my presentation. Uh, we have now um, planned to um, extend the cooperation with Croatia also in the Western uh, Balkan. And uh, what we can do, uh, we can exchange information. Uh, the, the goal in this case is the pollution at regional level, exchange, uh, exchange uh, transborder and regional cooperation, uh, cooperation uh, and the goal is pollution, and also coordinate uh, implementation of a program uh, to beat pollution. And this is um, the next uh, work that uh, we will do. A short, short, uh, really short presentation on uh, our application. Okay. This is the catalog part, but it's not. Eh? Okay. Ah, ah, okay, fantastic. <laughs> okay, what can. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I see it very well in my PC. <laughs> okay. In, if you have uh, some question, uh, we can start to answer now if you want to use this time. <laughs> which is important for us that uh, we can reuse uh, different data sources that are completely different in each other, but in the same, uh, in the same, uh, okay, yeah, we are. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I go. This is the home page, but I will uh, go up. This is the part, internal part, for example, this is the part uh, between, uh, for Annex Inspire, that is uh, managed in Annex Inspire. I go through, I can access um, directly to the metadata that are in the provider um, page, so I can enter in the job portal of Regione Piemonte or of um, environmental agency to see the metadata, I walk on up, I can enter natu uh, naturally uh, VFS, only some layer of them, or all the layer we have uh, in a data set. Well, this is the authentication uh, part of the solution, because all this, the solution is uh, free access and we have uh, the, the other part that is uh, only for um, public administration, for public, uh, you, uh, for um, authentic authentication uh, user. So you can see there, there are new functionality. I will show you how it, uh, we have a, a filter, we can choose the, the condition that we want to, to use, and this is absolutely normal, but we have, uh, for each data set, different uh, field that we, we can use. This is the report view, like you can see all the information in this way is flat, but now we will show you that if we open the map, we can arrive directly to the zoom area in which uh, there are uh, the position of uh, our plants, in this case is um, <coughs> Uh, waste uh, waste uh, water uh, plant uh, and in this case we can use also the group of condition that it's really uh, important for us to search really inside our uh, structure of uh, service like you can see we can uh, pass to 
all the data, uh, all the data I found in the map. I can enter one of more condition. I go home. <coughs> Okay. In this case, I, I was entering uh, more than one condition, a group of condition, and uh, I can also make uh, a, a new query also with the positional, um, the spatial uh, filter condition, and so on. Okay. Okay. Uh, I want only to show you a final part in, to the creation uh, project. This is the project in creation. This is all the data that we collected for um, Seveso establishment in Croatia. And uh, what I want to show you is the part in which we have the accident, uh, accidental scenario. And also that we can um, manage the field that we want to, to, to see at to export because uh, the same part of the uh, tool panel manage also the export part. So you can have, uh, at the end of your work, um, build uh, from your query, also a chef file on our um, a CSV to, to be loaded and to be used in your desktop solution. And so on. This uh, is a rapid, okay. Uh, only a lot of things. <laughs> it's uh, the, the solution. It's only this image that I want to show you. The clue were, um, that I used were uh, the fractals because uh, uh, the fractals is an image that helps us to understand. <coughs> Sorry, I, okay. All the, the fractal image I used inside uh, the presentation is because uh, mm, uh, if you work at the municipal level or if you work at country level, you have always to, to use data standard and also service standard. And so this is the only way to all together become um, a, an organization that can grow up in, in the future. And that's all. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we have time for about uh, two or three minutes of questions, if anyone has any questions. Um, I have one initial question. I'm just yeah. curious, um, how many people use, use the system? Um, you said you have both public users and um, government users. How many users on a yeah. day? Yeah, now it's more of uh, 100 uh, users that are um, authorized to enter there. And they, now we are building new data. Uh, and so every data that arrive on our application uh, arrive new user because uh, uh, their interest is to uh, see their data but between the other one and so is the reason for which the, the user can grow up if we grow up the, the data that we publish inside our application. Okay. Any, any other questions? Thank, thank you very much, Simona. It's a good presentation.